Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome again. Welcome back to New Directions Apostolic Ministries. We are thankful for your support. We thank you for being with us. Amen. We hope today that you will get something out of this lesson. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. We want to remember, um, you know, it's so much to pray for. It is so much to pray for. You know, we got uh, loved ones who have lost loved ones. Amen. Amen. And we want to pray for those families. Amen. That God would comfort them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the God of all comfort and he, that he would comfort those families. Amen. Those who have lost someone this week. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There's a lot going on. Amen. There are those who are sick. We want to remember those in prayer. We want to also remember those who are, um, you know, who have, uh, who are sick, those who have children who, who need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Loved ones who need the Holy Ghost. Amen. We're praying for all of you. Amen. The Lord is at the door. Amen. And we look for his soon appearing. Amen. And so uh, we want all of us, amen, to be doing, found doing what God has called us to do. Not uh, doing anything as we talked about uh, Sunday, standing by immobilized. No, we want to be mobile. We want to be doing what God has called us to do. Amen. All right, Father God, we thank you for your kindness. We thank you, Lord God, for an opportunity to come before you. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for life, health, and strength, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for the bereaved, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray, Lord God, for each and every one that has lost loved ones, Lord God, this week and beyond, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for the Gaither family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All of them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Especially for Sister Kim, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And also his mother and father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. His children, his, his grandchildren as well, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, you would have your way, Lord God, with that family, Lord God, as we lay him to rest tomorrow, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, just have your way, Lord God, with your people, Lord God. Everyone that we know Everyone, Lord God, we have been touched, Lord God, in this way, Lord God, at one point or another in our lives, Lord God. You've comforted us, Lord God. Help us to comfort those, Lord God, who are experiencing it right now, Lord. Remember the Canada family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Remember their daughter-in-law, Lord God, and grandchildren, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and all the other extended family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you will strengthen them, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you will deliver, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for every family that's represented on here on this live, Lord God, and those will come through replay, Lord God. I pray for each and every one. I pray, Lord God, you just have your way, Lord God, in their lives, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you, Lord God. Remember those that are sick, Lord God. Remember those, Lord God, who have um, 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 just sick, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And those, Lord God, who have need of your spirit, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, through this message that you would grant repentance unto life, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you. Bless your people, Lord God. We need you, Lord. We can't do this without you, Lord God, but we need you every step of the way, Lord. Have your way, Lord God, in our lives, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the precious name of Jesus, we ask these things. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. God bless you all. Amen. I hope that you are able to get something from this message today. We're talking about holding fast. Amen. Holding fast until the end. Amen. Hold fast. Let no man take your crown. Hold fast that truth that God has delivered to you. Amen. Amen. We need to hold on to God's word. We need to hold on to his precious, his precious uh, promises. Amen. Uh, uh, you know, those are the things that, that hurl us forward to continue, amen, that pushes us forward to continue in his word, amen. The things, looking back on what he has already done for us in our past, it helps us to continue in him, amen, amen. So um, as we go forth into this lesson, I pray that through 
New Directions Apostolic Ministries, as you are continuing with us, that you will connect with us, amen, and that you will learn from us, amen, and that you will grow in that which we teach, amen, and then go out there, go into all the world and teach all nations, baptizing them into the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, which we know that name is Jesus, amen. Hallelujah, according to Acts 2, amen, 38, Acts 10, amen, Acts 8, Acts 16, and Acts 19, amen. So we're looking for in, in, for God to do mighty exploits through us, amen. All right, so let's go on forward into this lesson, amen. We're going to begin here in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 20, uh, 10, verse 23. He says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. Amen. You can hold, you can trust God. We're to hold on, hold on, right, to the profession of our faith without wavering. Amen. We don't want to be wavering. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Without wavering. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Amen. So we're to consider one another, right? to provoke them unto love. Amen. Provoke each other to love. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God, he's a God of love. Amen. He is love. And so if he's in us, then that means we should love. Amen. Love one another. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. Amen. Encouraging one another. Exhorting, encouraging, lifting us each other up, amen, one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. What day? The coming of the Lord. Jesus is coming, amen, amen, he's coming, amen. If you haven't heard the message from Sunday, go back and listen to it, amen. Sunday, you know, we had a little hiccup in the beginning, I think they were trying to stop things, you know. But the Lord brought us back on, and, and the message was delivered. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So God, he's looking for us to do his will. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So we're not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Amen. There are places to go worship in person all around the city, all around the nation, all right, all around the world. We're not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Even in our homes, we can get together and, and you know, with one another and, and encourage one another. Have prayer meetings. Amen. We can do that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Your front row, I'll continue to say, your neighbors, your family that aren't saved, your neighbors, your block, your neighborhood. Amen. Those who don't know Jesus. Those who haven't been baptized in Jesus' name and been filled with his spirit that you know of, they need it. And the only way they're going to get it is through you ministering unto them, according to 2 Corinthians chapter number 5, verses 17 onward. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. I believe that was verse 19, Sister so Luke brought up on, on, on Sunday evening. Amen. So, um, here we go. Amen. So we just have to keep doing. Don't stop. As we talked about Sunday, keep blowing the trumpet. Keep holding on as well. Praise the Lord, Sister Rose. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Rose, we, we wish you happy birthday. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. So going on, the words hold fast are the translation of kate, uh, kateko which means literally to hold down. You got to hold it down, hold down. It speaks here of a firm hold, which masters that which is held. Amen. So you got to master that, that truth that God has delivered to you, that you, you have been made aware of. You got to hold on to that truth. Amen. You got to hold on to the promises of God. Amen. You got to hold on. Uh, John says in Revelation 3, let no man take your crown. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on to it. Amen. And that's coming up later. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on to that which was once and for all delivered unto the saints. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Hold on. Hebrews 10, 23. In the Amplified Version, 
let us seize and hold tightly the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is reliable and trustworthy and faithful to his word. Amen. Talking about Jesus, the one who promised it, the Lord Jesus Christ, right? He's reliable. Jesus is trustworthy. Jesus is faithful to his word. Amen. You can depend on the word of God. Hallelujah. Working for you in your life. Amen. Working out things. Look how how far we've come. Amen. In spite of all that happened in the last couple of years, we're still here. We're still holding on to the unchanging hand of God. Amen. Hold on to what God has given you. Hold on to it. Hallelujah. He keeps raising us up every moment. Hold on. Thank you, Jesus. He's faithful. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Verse number 24. And let us consider thoughtfully how we may encourage one another to love and to good deeds. Amen. Let us consider thoughtfully. That means you're going to spend some time thinking about those in whom you can minister to, right, to encourage them to love. Amen. Not hate, but to love. It's enough hate going on already in the world. The Bible here in Hebrews encourages us to love. Amen. Throughout 1 John, 1 Corinthians chapter, the, the, the love chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Amen. Love. Thank you, Jesus. Why do why do we why should we love? Because God is love. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we are to love one another. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Not forsaking our meeting together as believers for worship and instructions. Amen. So we come together. The purpose of coming together is for worship, number one. Amen. Worship. Worshiping our Savior. Amen. We, we, in, in, in fact, you can't even worship without the Holy Spirit. Amen. You, uh, the true worshipers worship the Father in spirit and in truth, according to St. John. Amen. Chapter number 4, I believe, verse 24. Amen. So we're to come together for worship and instructions. Amen. Instructions in righteousness. Being, you know, the teachings of God's word. Hallelujah. I don't know how we think we can just uh, 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 negate meeting together, negate worship coming together, negate all that, and expect to be um, instructed in righteousness. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is making ways. I think that, you know, like I was talking to someone the other day, I forget who it was. Oh, oh we were uh, Sunday. I know who it is now. And we we're talking about the you know, how things have changed within the last couple of years. And God has opened up other doors of other avenues where, by, where, by way where was we can actually minister to you, amen, and be ministered to, all right, by me, social media. We can minister, amen, all right? But this is not to take the place of meeting together somewhere, amen, whether, you know, again, like in your house, going house to house, as they did in the book of Acts, going to places of worship, those who have the courage to keep the doors open. Amen. In spite of what's going on. You know, I was at a meeting a couple of weeks ago um, at over in Orange County at Anaheim at a theater. And um, at that particular meeting, they testified about the last couple of meetings, which is the last, one a year, when all, the, all this stuff was going on, they were meeting with with full capacity for their conferences and nobody got COVID at all. Nobody experienced COVID. Amen. So God is able to heal. He, God still heals. And if you do get it, God can deliver. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And the ones who have, have who have, uh, uh, uh passed on, uh, it, you know, the Bible lets us know in the book of Hebrews that it is appointed unto man once to die after that, the judgment. And then for us who are saved, when a saint goes to sleep, that saint is in the presence of God. Amen. So what are we, what, why fear? We are in the presence of God. 
to be absent in the body is to be present in, with the Lord. So it's a win-win situation for us. Amen. So we're not to stop uh, coming together. We're to be together and minister. Keep ministering. Keep blowing that trumpet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. He says here, but encourage one another and all the more faithfully as you see the day of Christ's return approaching. Amen. You see it. Look around at what's going on. All the things that Jesus said would be happening at the time of his return is happening. It's all in our face right now. Amen. He said, as it was in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Look at look back at Lot's in Lot's generation and see what was going on. All right, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. What was going on in Noah's day that reminds us of what's happening now? Amen. Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. He says, "But they are they that testify of me." Everything that Jesus says is outlined in the Word of God. So we come together that we might be instructed. Amen. And then once instructed, hold fast. Hold on to it as, as if to master that which you're, you're, uh, you're holding on to. Amen. Don't be casually holding on. You know how you could be casually walking around, you know, with something in your hand and it slips out of your hand. you walking around, you know, you know, sometimes we're so, we do things so haphazardly. You know, we, we're not intentional at all most of the time. We have to be more intentional. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, holding on to stuff. I'm getting dry here. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So let us be. Let us go on. goes on to say here, this word, um, uh, to confess that our profession is homo lo uh, logio, right? And it's to agree, to confess, say the same, right? Say the same. Just like Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 1, we ought to all speak the same thing and that there'd be no divisions among us. So that truth that was once delivered to you, you got to hold on to that truth. Amen. Don't let it go like most of the world is doing today. When I say the world, I mean those in the church you know, not necessarily the world, those that are in the church that are no longer holding up the apostolic banner. Amen. They got all kind of different ideas now on, on, on how to do things and how to reach people. Amen. The, the doctrine is not, has not changed. Amen. God's word is forever settled in heaven. And if we're going to minister to people, if they're going to get saved, it has to be by the revealed will of God. That was, was once and for all delivered. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. According to Jude. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. So let's go on. All right. Um, that Okay. So my righteousness, I hold fast. This is Job 27 and 6. He said, my righteousness, I hold fast and will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me as long as I live. Amen. This is Job. All right. I hold fast. I'm holding on to it. The righteousness. I'm holding on. Hallelujah. Don't let go of your holiness. Don't let go of it. Hold on to it. Keep, hallelujah, keep doing what the scriptures has instructed you to do. Hold on to it. Hold fast. Hallelujah. As long as you live. Job says, take hold. Proverbs 4.13 Take hold of instructions, right? Actively seek it. Grip it firmly and do not let go. Hallelujah. Guard her for she is your life. Hallelujah. Hold on. Take hold of instructions. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I share with you guys on 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 Sunday, um, the matrix of you know even the lies, you know, and those who don't give a kitty about the word of God, they're gonna be held responsible for that. 
They're gonna their blood when they die, their blood is gonna be on their own hands. Amen. Your family members that don't know Jesus, you must tell them. You must tell them about Jesus. You must be a witness. Amen. Amen. If you don't, and if you don't warn them, and you see the sword coming, you see judgment coming. It's in the air. Amen. It's all around us. Amen. Everything that's going on right now, speaking of end time things, is happening right before our eyes. I've never, I never thought that I would live to see a day when I see so much happening all at once like this. All at once. And beyond that, having the, the eyes to see. Amen. Having eyes and I, you can actually see God making it clear to you what's going on, where we're at as far as prophecies are concerned, fulfillment of scriptures, amen. God makes it clear to us, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Never did I, did I ever think that I would see all these things happening all at once like this. But here it is. Here we are coming to the close of a dispensation of grace, Amen. And the Lord takes us out of here at the end of that dispensation, this dispensation of grace. Amen. The next dispensation is tribulation. Amen. God takes us up out of here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The other word here, um, to be strong, to strengthen, to be courageous, to overpower, hold on, endure. Thank you, Jesus. First Thessalonians 5, 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Warn them. Warn them. Warn them. That's why I talked about Sunday, blowing that trumpet. That's You're warning them that are unruly. Comfort the feeble-minded. Comfort those that are feeble-minded. Feeble by way of what, you know, they, they, have, they may have suffered something, you know, like a losing someone, and they're, they're weak, and they're, they're feeble-minded. Warn, you know, encourage them, comfort them. Support the weak. Be patient toward all men. Thank you, Jesus. Be patient. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See that none render evil for evil unto any man. We're not to render or just because they do you evil, you don't give evil back to them. You don't render evil for evil unto any man. Save the lost. But ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Right? Follow that which is good. Thank you, Jesus. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what they said to you. I don't care what they did to you. Follow that which is good. Amen. Both among yourselves and to all men. So it's not just, you know, people you like, but even the people you don't like. You got to do good toward them. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. I remember, you know, a song. The old saints used to sing, saints, don't stop praying. The Lord is nigh. Don't stop praying. He'll hear your cry. The Lord has promised, the Lord has promised, and his word is true. Saint, don't stop praying. He will answer you. Amen. Hallelujah. You all remember that song? Don't stop praying. Pray without ceasing. Amen. That don't mean you have to always be on your knees. You could pray while you're walking. You could pray while you're sitting down at the table. You could pray while you're lying down. Of course, on your knees and surrender. Amen. But pray without ceasing. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's God still answers prayer. Don't you know that? He still answers prayer. And he's, he's looking for us to speak things, amen, so he can do it. 
He's waiting on us to speak those things. Hallelujah. 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 In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Give thanks in everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give thanks. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank him for the good and for the bad. Whatever it is, thank God for it. Hallelujah. Those things that we, we deem to be bad, they haven't taken you out. They make you stronger. They build character in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're stronger. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give thanks. For this is the will of God. It's God's will that you give thanks. Thank him when it's good. Thank him when it's bad. Hallelujah. 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 Quench not the spirit. You know what's right. You know what, you know, doing what's right. Don't quench the spirit. Don't try to put out that fire that's working in you. Don't try to put it out. Don't quench it. Let it roar. Let it rise up in you. Let it rise up and go forth out of you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, don't quench the spirit. Let the spirit move through you. Hallelujah. In ministering to those, your loved ones, your hallelujah, your co-workers, your, your, your classmates, just let it rise up out of you. Don't quench it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Despise not prophesying. Preaching. Don't despise it. Welcome it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God wants to use you. Hallelujah. And it's not just, we think ministry is all preaching behind the pulpit. No, that's not all. Yeah, God uses people there, but that's not the only place he uses, he uses people. He can use you in your own household. He can use you to go talk to your neighbors. He can use you. Don't despise prophesying. Speaking on God's behalf. Whenever you open your mouth on his behalf, he speaks through you. Don't despise that. Hallelujah. That's able to save. Hallelujah. God chooses the foolishness of preaching to save them that are lost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Hold on to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't listen to those out there in the world speaking all that wickedness. The Lord, my Lord, delight, you know, the Lord delays his coming. Hogwash. He, when he comes, it'll be right on time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Those scoffers, don't listen to them. Hallelujah. Trying to discourage you, trying to make you walk away from that which you believe. Hallelujah. Hold fast. Hold on to it. Hold on to his promises. Thank you, Jesus. You, if you have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, that's a guarantee. Hallelujah. That's your, your, your engagement ring, if you will. Guaranteeing all that which is to come. Having the Holy Ghost, having received a promise of the Holy Ghost in itself, guarantees all the rest of the scriptures. If you have it, you can look at every verse of scripture from Genesis to Revelation and believe all of it, right? Because you receive one promise, the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. And along with that deliverance, hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 1.21, for after that, in the, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God, it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 21. Thank you, Luca, for putting that in the comment section. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, yeah, God's word is sure. You can depend on it. Hold on to it. This God is trustworthy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Abstain. From all appearance of evil. Keep back, keep away from all appearance of evil. 
Amen. We're not ignorant of his devices, right? Abstain. Stay away from all appearance of evil. Not just evil, but all appearance of evil. Thank you, Jesus. If it seems evil, stick, stay away from it. Stay away from it. Thank you, Lord. And the very God of peace, sanctify you wholly, all of you. you the whole you is sanctified. The, and the very God of peace, sanctify you wholly. And I pray your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blameless. Amen. Paul says, I pray, God, I pray, God, your whole spirit. So that's all of you. Holy, that's all of you. Not holy as in sanctification, but holy as in all. Complete you, your body, soul, and spirit. Be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Blameless. You can be blameless. Amen. But that's intentional. You know, you have to be, you really have to be thoughtful in this, right? You can't yield to your flesh at all. You have to think about this, you know, and, and purpose, do be purposeful. Amen. Watching and waiting. Hallelujah. Watching. Watch as well as pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This thing, as you go and as you just look into it, you know, it doesn't take much for me to, you know, get into the presence of God. You know, it doesn't take the organ or the drums or the, any of that. The guitar, all that. It doesn't take all that for you to get into the presence of God. Just think on him. Look into his word. And just think on him. Every lesson I put together, just looking and just thinking on what I'm reading, it put it gets me there. Hallelujah. It does the same for you. You know, I remember the lady Dean Jackson talking about how the, she had a dream about God's word. And she said, as God was handing her his word, she said, it was, it was, it was, it was, it had a heartbeat. It was boo boo, do do, do do, as she reached for that scroll, the scroll. It had a heartbeat. God's word, the Bible says, is spirit and is life. Amen. It's able to give life. It's a life giving. Amen. God's word, the word, the very word we read in the revealed will of God within these 66 books, you don't need those extra books that weren't deemed or weren't, weren't put into the canon. We have enough dealing with what's, what we do have. You don't, come on now. For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know in whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Thank you, Jesus. Hold fast. Hold fast. The form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Hold fast as to master it. Hold fast. Amen. Don't let it go. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Thank you, Jesus. He's encouraging us to hold on to it all the way to the end. Thank you, Luca. John chapter number th 6, verse number 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh. Uh, well, the, it's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit 
and they are life. St. John chapter number 6, verse number 63. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hold on to that word. Hold on to those promises. If God said he's a healer, hold on to it. He's, he can heal you. No, it doesn't matter what comes upon you. God is able to heal you. Thank you, Jesus. What happened to you mentally? God can heal your mind. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He can heal your broken heart. Hallelujah. Things happen in our lives, and it breaks our heart. But God is able to heal the heart. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, he can heal your broken heart. You lost your love or you lost it. Sister Canada, Brother Canada, God will heal your heart. Hallelujah. Hold on to the promises of God. Hold fast to that which he's given you. Hold fast. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's a healer. Hold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. See, Hebrews 4.14, seeing that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Why is this word, this phrase, repeated so much in Scripture? Whenever you see this in Scripture, it, it emphasizes the fact that we need to hold on. If it wasn't necessary, if it wasn't important, it wouldn't be encouraging you over and over and over again to hold on to it. If you're not thoughtful, if you don't think, if you don't hold on, it's a chance, a possibility for you to walk away from this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on to the truth. No matter how long it takes to be delivered, hold on to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As, as, as Habakkuk says, though the vision tarries, that vision that God is giving, though it tarries, wait for it, for it shall surely come, and it will not tarry. Hallelujah. Hold on to it. Hallelujah. 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 And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write these things, says, He that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. Talking about Jesus. I know your works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. We have not denied his name. Hold on to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah for salvation. That's the revealed name that God has revealed, hallelujah, to us. That's how we, how we get saved, It's through the name of Jesus. Whatever you do in word, thought, and deed, do it all in the name of Jesus. Hold on to it. Hold on to his name. We're dealing with the church of Philadelphia. That's the kind of church that God is coming back for. Believers who are believing like the, these Philadelphians. The church of brotherly love. He says, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door. Hallelujah. No man can shut it. I don't care what the world puts forth. I don't care what the governor says, trying to shut down the church. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't care how dark it is in this world. I don't care. We are the light of the world. The darker the light, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, not cliches, hallelujah, we are the light of the world, we shine brighter, your life will shine brighter the darker it gets, hallelujah, why, because he's in you, Jesus is the light, 
Hallelujah. He's delight and he is in us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm almost finished. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before my feet and to know that I have loved thee. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And those walking around calling themselves uh, Jews, right? What do you call them? Black Israelites. They say they are Jews, but they're not. This is what John's saying in Revelation 3 and 9. But they do lie. Thank you, Jesus. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before my feet. Thank you, Jesus. All those who are denying him now, he's going to make them come and worship before his feet. Bible lets us know that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Thank you, Jesus. Every tongue that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. According to Philippians. Thank you, Jesus. Behold, thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the, all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. That hour is yet to come. Tribulation hour. Tribulation, period, seven years. He said he's going to keep us from that, from that time. We read Sunday, he keeps us from, he saved us from the wrath to come. Wrath is about to come down on this world. Wrath, God's wrath, he's going to, he's going to pour out his wrath on this world for all their wicked, evil deeds. They will not go unpunished. Hold fast to that which he has given you. Hold on to it. Don't let it go. Don't let it slip. Verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Philippians chapter number 2, verses 10 and 11. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Thank you, Luca. Philippians chapter number 2, verses 10 and 11. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hold fast. Hold fast. Hold that fast. Hold on to it, saints. Amen. Don't let, don't let it slip. Let me, that, let me get that verse of scripture. Thank you, Jesus. I believe it's Hebrews. Uh, let's see here. Hebrews chapter number. All right, let, let me let me let me go to Hebrews chapter number uh, six. Uh, Hebrews chapter number two, right here on the screen, got it there. He says, for this reason, that is because of God's final revelation in his son, Jesus, and because of Jesus' superiority to the angels, we must pay much closer attention than ever to the things we have heard so that we do not in any way Drift away from truth. Amen. And I believe the King James Version in his last clause. Let me see. Don't let it. I, I remember teaching a lesson. Don't let it slip. Amen. Don't let it slip. King James. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard lest at any time we should let them slip. Amen. You got to pay attention to what God is giving you. 
Hold it fast. Hold fast. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedient received a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him, God also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with divers miracles, and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. God made, God confirmed everything that was done, everything that was spoken is always confirmed by his word, is always conf confirmed by, by gifts of the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. God confirms. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's hold on to what God is doing. Hold on what he has delivered. Amen. To what he has delivered unto the saints. Once and for all delivered. Amen. Let me look at uh, Jude. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Jude, he said, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. You got to fight for it, to contend, to fight. You got to earnestly fight for it, for this faith, which was once, the Greek was once and for all delivered unto the saints. Amen. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. All those who deny Jesus, step away from him. Let him just go on past. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There are those who have to hear to hear, and then there are those who don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it, let them go. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let them go on. That's right. Condemnation. Thank you, Jesus. And the angels, right? Let me go back. I will... I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believed not. Those who came, not all that came out of Egypt, entered into the promised land. There were those who came out of Egypt who denied him while in the wilderness, right? They did not, though all the adults, you go to Numbers, chapter number uh, 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 13 and 14. You see that. All through the book of Numbers, you see those who did not. God promises then, because you deny me, you will not enter in, but your children will enter in. Amen. If he did that to them back then, don't think you can just do whatever you want to do today and just still make it in. Hallelujah. He said, those people the ones he had delivered out of the land of Egypt, he afterwards he dis, they were destroyed. He destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, those that that were in, in heaven, right? But left their their own habitation. He hath reserved in everlasting chains unto darkness, unto the judgment of that day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, that's where Lot came from. Well, he didn't come from there. God delivered him out of Sodom and Gomorrah. And you go back to the book of Genesis around chapter number 19, and you see what kind of way, the way they lived down there in Sodom, the things they did down there in Sodom. Amen? Even at Sodom and Gomorrah, the cities and the cities were all around them, not just Sodom and Gomorrah, but those surrounding cities in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. That's men going after men, women going after women. Strange flesh are set forth 
as an example. Amen. Something changed. Can you still hear me? All right. Something changed. Amen. But God is good. Amen. I hope you can still hear me. Amen. Start here. Strange flesh are set forth for an example. They are examples suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. For what they know naturally as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, right? Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after Balaam for reward and perished in the gang saying of Korah. All these wicked ones that did evil, they followed Cain. Cain was a murderer. Cain murdered his own brother Abel, right? Those who ran greedily after Balaam which was a false prophet, right? They got their reward. Amen. And those who perished in the game saying of Korah, Korah, the earth swallowed them up, him and his family. Everybody who listened to him, God destroyed them in the book of Numbers, right? These are spots in your feast of charity. They're spots, right? When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees which <laughs> whose fruit has withered, They're, or without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. See, these don't become like them. Don't become like them. You got to hold on to that which God has given you. Hold on to the truth of God's word. Hold on to the baptism in Jesus' name. Hold on to the infilling of the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance, as entrance into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God hasn't changed his word. What it took for them to be saved in the book of Acts, it takes that for us to be saved today. Hallelujah. God hasn't changed. It's the same. He said he's the same Yesterday, today, and forever. I am the Lord thy God, I change not. Hallelujah. He said, they're raging waves of the sea, foaming out of their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness and darkness forever. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. He goes on to say, in Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all of their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners has spoken against him. Amen. They speaking against Jesus. God's going to judge him. They will be judged. He's coming to execute judgment upon them. God's promises are true. They are true. Hold on to it. Amen. Don't let these things slip away. Hallelujah. Hold on. Saints of God, hold on to the promises of God. Hallelujah. These, he says, are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouths speaking great swelling words, 
having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Amen. They, they like what people say about them. They want kind words spoken about them. Amen. All for advantage. They do what they do, not because they want to please God, but so they can please man, so they can be promoted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Murmuring and complaining. Hallelujah. He says here for us, but beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the Lord or of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last times who walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. But you, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference, and others saved with fear, pulling them out of the fire. Thank you, Jesus. Pulling them out of the fire. So we're to save them with fear. Well, pulling them out of the fire. That's our job is to go out and pull those ones out of the fire. Those who will be saved, we gotta, they don't have the mind to go and leave. Some of them don't have the energy to leave. Some of them don't have no, they don't have the power. Amen. So we're to go and pull them out of the fire. The devil will not let his prisoners go free. Hallelujah. That's why God has given to us that ministry of reconciliation. We're to go out and be diligent in what God has commissioned us to do. Hallelujah. Be active. Not a, 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 you have to be a, an active participant, not a passive one. You got to be active, participating in the work of God. Remember, all we're doing is planning. All we're doing is watering. God, he's the one who gives the increase. Thank you, Jesus. Let's do our part. Hold on to that which he's giving you. Hold fast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we're to be pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's it. Hallelujah. If you in this thing, stay in it. If it's been a long time, keep holding on. If it's been a short time, don't give up. Don't give up. Hold fast that which you have. Let no man take your crown. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God, he's concerned. I don't, you know, I don't care what it looks like out there. Some of you might think that, oh, no, the Lord don't care. No, God still cares. God is still working. Amen. God still answers prayer. He, God still speaks. God, he still speaks to his people. Amen. Hallelujah. God, he's still using his people. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Hold fast thou that which you have. Amen. Hold on to the profession of your faith. Hold on. Hallelujah. Hold on. Hallelujah. How can it say it enough? Hold on. Hallelujah. Continue to follow us on social media. Hallelujah. Connect with us. Learn from us. Hallelujah. Grow with us and then go. 
Go ye into all the world. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. Ha shata. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love each and every one of you. I love you. I love your families. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. It's not in vain. That what you do is, is not in vain. 1 Corinthians 12, chapter 15, verse 58. Thank you, Luca. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's in the comment section. Hallelujah. 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 We love you all. We love your families. Hallelujah. We love you. Keep doing the work of God. Keep, hallelujah. Keep moving forward. Let us move forward together. Hallelujah. Let us keep encouraging one another. Let us, hallelujah, hold on to that. Keep holding on, God. For yet a little while, he that, he that shall come will come, and he will not tarry. Howbeit the just shall live by their faith. Hallelujah. When the Son of Man come, Will he find faith? Will you still hold on to him? Will you still be looking for him? Hallelujah. It's unto those who look for him shall that he will appear. Unto those who look for him shall he appear the second time. Hallelujah. Without sin. Hallelujah. He's going to deliver those who are looking for him. Keep learning. Keep Receiving the instructions of God's word. Are you teachable? Remain teachable. Hallelujah. I'm still learning. I still take classes. Hallelujah. I take classes so I can keep learning. Howard Hendry said, if I, stop, if I stop learning today, I need to stop teaching tomorrow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hold on, y'all. Jesus is coming. He's at the door. Hallelujah. God bless you. Remember the Canada's in prayer. Hallelujah. Remember the Gaither family in prayer. And all the others that I don't know of. I don't know names. I don't know everyone. But you know someone, if it's somebody, put them, their names in the comment section. Hallelujah. We can devise a list and we'll put them on a prayer list. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God for each and every one who were on this live today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you and God keep you as our prayer. Remember New Directions Apostolic Ministry in your prayers. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, as we move forward, we're praying for you. We're praying for your families. I'm praying for all my God children. Hallelujah, all of them. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for their families as well. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. Lord God, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in our lives, Lord God. We thank you for, for your mercy, Lord God. We thank you for your grace, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, for every pastor that's represented on this live today, Lord God. Hallelujah. I pray, Lord God, for your people. I pray for the bereaved, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, you will continue to comfort them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, you just have your way, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. Hallelujah. We thank you for your wonderful works unto the children of men, Lord God. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. Bless your people, Lord God. Bless our pastors, Lord God. 
every prophet, Lord God, bless them, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Every evangelist, every pastor, every teacher, Lord God, every apostle. In the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord God. We need you, Lord God. We need you, hallelujah. Have your way. Bless your people, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all for tuning in today. Thank you all for tuning in, all, every single one of you. Thank you. Share this video with your friends and family, those in your life, those that are connected through you through Facebook, Instagram. Hallelujah. God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yebo de kabashata. Neyala mo de kabasha. Yarala mo de kabashata. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.